Hello everyone and welcome back to MVVM Reactive UI and Xamarin Forms with another new session. It's Dependency Injection, one of the most interesting and cool topics in the modern programming, not only in view model, MVVM and Xamarin Forms. Actually, Dependency Injection is a new like programming principle. You write decoupled classes, each class uh, when like in this situation here we have a class depends on another class uh, this is a standard code and this is a code uh, following dependency injection as you can see here in the normal one customer class it always depends on customer local data provider this is for example a class that helps you to save a customer inside a local data source like SQL database SQLite whatever here, the customer class is always depending on this. Imagine if you want to test it. Immediately, it's going to insert the data into the database. This is number one. Number two, the code is specifically written to a local data provider. And here is a code written but following dependency injection. As you can see, here we have an interface. I customer data provider has uh, the save method which takes a customer and it saves it the customer class depending on this but in the constructor we inject an instance that implements this interface and inside your class like public void add it calls the save function of the i customer data provider but the customer class doesn't care about anything related to this class or this interface <clears throat> or the service in general whatever it has whatever it does it's not important for it simply just it know that it has a save function and it saved this user it could be a remote data source local data source SQLite maybe Oracle data provider uh, <clears throat> whatever or even it could be a static list so in this situation imagine if you want to test uh, this class to test this function you can simply uh, implement this interface, create some like iMOG data provider, saves to a static list just for testing, and you can simply test the customer cloud. This is one of the most important benefits. The second one is the code here is decoupled, like each class doesn't care about anything else, it's an independent class. Whatever happens in other places, it's not important for it, which is a very important aspect especially now in the modern projects and especially also when it gets a huge bigger and bigger now the classes start to be so conflicted they are depending on each other in like not a clear way but following dependency injection gonna make things easier easier and well architected here if you want to call this or to initialize this class as you can see you can create the same thing here we have two situations the first one we have a class called customer local data provider that writes the customer to a local database and a remote data provider that sends the customer via an API to insert it in a remote data source so here the customer class doesn't care about all this simply just deal with this interface this is a quick interview uh, or overview about dependency injection uh, you can find a link in the description box to get more and more information about that now the second thing I want to talk about is Splat in Reactive UI Splat is simply a service provided by Reactive or it's existing inside Reactive UI framework uh, it helps you doing multiple things one of the things it does is simply helping you to registering your services here, sometimes, you, if you want to use locators like, like Splat, it takes care for initializing these objects for you and it injecting the services. You create a service and you, sorry, you reject the services in some place. All the services you want, like you have multiple services like I mail service, uh, SMS service local data provider, remote data provider service you inject all the service in a specific place and 
you can use the locator of of the plat to inject those objects for the classes that they need to depend on it. To register a service, we have three functions. The first one called register. It registered uh, just an app a service for you but it creates a new instance about the service each time you call it another function called register constant it initializes a new object while you are registering the service and it's only one object during the application lifetime the third one is register lazy singleton it's similar to register constant but it initializes the object after you call it for the first time not during the initialization process now I'm going to move to the code to see these things in action and we will make a gentle example. In a previous session we have created the contacts view model page as you can see here. Now here we have a static list. I want to move it into another place. I want to make a service called iContacts service inside the service it's going to give us all the contacts or we can save a contact whatever in next sessions but for this session I'm just going to move this static list and make it inside a service called I contacts service and I can retrieve all the contacts via this service so the first thing I'm going to do is to create a folder called services here services and I'm going to create an interface new item your interface I'll call it I contacts service it is public now the contact service for now it's going to have only one method get all contacts now I can create multiple uh, implementations for this class one to write for an SQLite one to get data from remote data source like from an API other one just a static list which I'm I will go I will create now let's say public class static contacts service now here I will create a private static list so we can move this from here here okay now let's implement I contact service and I will mark this as static as well because every time we create a new instance of this I want this list to not to reinitialize the game every time because in another sessions we are going to add more functions like add remove whatever so and the situation this is gonna be our data source now in the get all we are going just to return samples okay now I want to register this service inside for using the locator the splat uh, locator and then I can inject it inside the contacts view model so other thing I'm going to create is a class called app bootstrapper app bootstrapper while you are building your project you should register all your services inside the same place so here I will create a function called register services
Now, I want to register this service and the object of it, the initializer object, going to be static contact service. So we can splat, which is a namespace installed with reactive UI dot locator dot current mutable dot register sorry I think dot current dot register dot current dot register and here we say the new object is we use lambda expression new static contacts service and type of i contacts service in this way i have registered this object that implement this interface so whenever i get and i want to get an instance of the service i contact service it's going to be populated with a new instance of static contact service now in the app bootstrapper i will call in the constructor i will call the register services save this and let's move to the app.xaml.cs which is the starting point for our application and here we can create a new instance of the app bootstrapper so we make sure all the services has been registered assembly app bootstrapper okay very good now the last thing we should do is to modify the contact view model to depend on the eye contact service here I'm going to create a private field private eye contacts service inside the constructor service Okay, and give it a default value to null. So when you want to say new contact view model, you don't need to initialize an instance of the eye contact service, an instance of sorry of one of the classes that implements eye contact service, because we will use the splat locator to get the service from. That we have registered inside the app bootstrapper so we will say contact service equals to this one but if it's null we will get it from splat splat dot locator dot current dot get service the type of service is I contact service. Okay. Copy it. It returns a uh, of type object, the method get service. So I will cast it into I contact service. So here now we can we have the this service that we can get all the contacts from as you can see so i will replace this samples here with contact service dot get all contacts here as well or i can store them some way all contacts equals to contact service dot get all and here 
and here as well okay if we have to use the count functional link because i enumerable doesn't have a count attribute okay very nice now let's run the project Mm -hmm. Everything works fine, but now with the maintenance injection and splat. Very nice. Let's make a very quick recap for what we have done. Now we have our contact view model that depends on the contact service to get the data and in the next sessions to add new data, remove or whatever uh, contacts. So we have the service, but in this situation like this, contact view model doesn't know anything about this or about the implementations. And for testing purposes, it doesn't uh, depending depends on a specific instance of a cloud that implements eye contact service. Here, simply you can inject whatever you want, any instance that implements this interface inside the constructor so here is a loosely cobbled principle classes are not depending on each other so for testing purposes even for building when you have multiple services a lot of data classes that depend on each other following this principle is something amazing now we have created the services first I contact service has this function get all contacts and here we have created an implementation for that service it simply deals with a data source but it is a static class inside our application after that we have created an app bootstrapper class and we have a uh, function called register services here we register all the services we have and we will we need to use inside our application then in the app.xaml when the application starts for the first time we register all the services by creating a new instance of app bootstrapper at the end we get the value of contact service here either from this value or by getting it get the service from the splat locator if I go here to the pages contacts okay as you can see I have set the binding context property of the contacts page to any instance of contacts view model but here I didn't pass anything because simply when this class is going to be initialized the I contact service going to be get from the splat locator hope you enjoyed this session if you have any questions as always put them inside the comments below i will try to answer as soon as i can you can find uh, the github repository for this project also in the description box with a url to understand or to get more more details about the dependency injection in general and specifically in reactive ui as well as um, at the end sorry if you like the video please don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button thank you so much for watching and in the next video we are going to move to comments in mvvm and reactive ui see you